Are you tired of your regular job? What if I told you you can make money being a street performer? And what if I told you you could be a street performer from the confines of your own home? That's right. Just get on TikTok Live. TikTok Live lets you be a street performer from anywhere. Whether you're an animal lover, political activist, or just having a good time and you want to share that with the rest of the world, you can do that on TikTok Live. It's hours of fun, and as long as you stay plugged in, you can always make money. Why work an eight-hour shift at your regular job when you can work a 12-hour shift eating worms? All you need is a mobile device, a decent internet connection, and you're ready to get started. TikTok Live. What the fuck is wrong with TikTok Live? <laughs> what in the fuck is going on with these TikTok live streams? Look, we could argue that most of it is harmless, and a lot of it is. Eating worms and throwing ping pong balls into beer cups. There's nothing really that weird about it. If people want to tip money to watch that, cool, go for it. What I do think is weird is that this area of TikTok is just kind of open season for any adult to get on there and try to finesse kids out of money. Weirder than young women getting on TikTok live streams and pretending to get their backs blown out for tips. To me, weirder than that is when uh, people like the Island Boys or, you know, two grown men get on and do like a dual stream and then beg little kids for money. Straight up beg them for money. It's, it's not hidden behind something. They don't do some kind of performance or offer some kind of entertainment it's just straight up like yo run that credit card and it's weird because you know it's a lot of young people in there i mean that's how that app is so massive it's just that there are tons of young people there and tiktok gets a big fucking cut of that i'm shooting from the hip here a little bit just because you know i want to get on here and yap but i'm pretty sure tiktok takes 50 percent of the revenue if you've never seen a tiktok live basically you can't donate money directly but you can donate money through goofy little animations uh, the big one that these guys always beg for is a galaxy like yo we need a galaxy. I need a galaxy to win. And what motivates it is this weird points race system that they embed within the stream. And people can donate these little animations to provide points to one or the other streamer. And they, you know, naturally collect points, but they're collecting money through that. Now, you can't make a cash donation like you would on Twitch or maybe even YouTube. Uh, what you have to do is you have to go into the TikTok store and you buy coins it's like this currency conversion so for 25 bucks you'll get a thousand coins or something like that and then using those coins you can buy uh, digital gifts which show up like animations on the streamer that you're watching TikTok, i think keeps 50 percent of that money which is fucking crazy it's all just like one big uh scam it's all one big finesse on 12 year olds which you know i guess to be fair if fortnite can do it why can't TikTok? And it's not that I'm trying to sit here and hold TikTok to some sort of moral standard because they don't have one, but it's still wild to me. And we all just kind of sit there and we just accept like, yeah, this is regular. This is cool. This is fine. Now I say all this, but I'm not being critical of every person that streams live on TikTok because I have to say it's very clever what some of these people do. It's crazy to me that someone turned nine billiard balls and a treadmill into a business. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, here's a clip. That is fucking genius. That is genius. And that could only happen in today's time. Only now could someone be like, I'm unemployed, but I know how I'm going to employ myself. I'm just going to put nine billiard balls on a treadmill and make them race. And I'm going to commentate it. And that's how I'm going to get some money. It's just only leading us down a path where none of us will have real jobs. We'll all just sort of slowly devolve and descend into weird niche performances that earn us just a little bit of money to keep eating and to keep racking the balls back on the treadmill and picking up the ping pong balls to do a trick shot and just enough money to go to the local market to buy the worms that came from the black water that's been poisoned from the Teflon factories from 1950 and, and I can eat those worms on live to make enough money to go buy more food and more worms and just live in that ecosystem and we'll just continue to pass money back and forth to each other in this way. You know, you tip me to eat a worm, I pay you to make me a strawberry, and it'll just keep going and going and going. <laughs> Excuse me while I cut into the video to thank the sponsor, Cuts Clothing. You like that? I know. Look, everyone needs a good shirt. A shirt that's comfortable. A shirt that's soft. 
and more importantly, a shirt that holds its shape. Cuts Clothing specializes in minimal, high quality, everyday wear. They have a wide range of t-shirts that offer different colors and hems so you can mix and match according to your style. They sell hoodies and joggers as well. And all these pieces are engineered to give you comfort whether you're working in your office or going out to meet someone. Whatever it is, you've got a comfortable piece of attire on your body. And it looks good. So if you're interested in what it feels like to wear butter on your body, then click the link in my description or go to cutsclothing.com and use my promo code Noel Miller. Either one will get you 15% off your order. All right, now let's get back to it. I really want to take a second to give credit to some of these people who do these weird niche performances on TikTok live streams because they understand they have to offer some kind of entertainment. They have to put something out in the world that is compelling, that is interesting. And however they do that is up to them. And some of the methods they come up with are very interesting, very cool. And again, not things you could think you could make money off of. And in that way, they're genius. But, you know, I want to highlight that these are people that understand they have to do that. They don't have the benefit like some of these other big streamers, uh, you know, like Ninja, who's just hot. Now that said, I really feel, that said to me, there's something extremely dystopian about the evolution of TikTok from kids lip syncing app to dancing app to weird people in trailer parks showing off their pistols and their girlfriends to now the centerpiece in culture where they advertise the Super Bowl with a strange superimposed image of Addison Ray that has nothing to do with the actual Super Bowl. And now they're creating employees. I saw someone post a TikTok asking if any other creators got their W9 or their W-2, their tax information from TikTok so that they could file their taxes. It's good that you can get paid and may maybe that's a special thing. Maybe that's, maybe that's a good thing that you give something to this app and it actually has to give you something back. But the way they do it, it's not like you go on there and you eat the worms, then you get 100% of that money. You, you get on there, you eat the worms and you get your paycheck for that. And that is strange. And it's, it's strange to me that they're just creating a wave of people that work for them doing the weirdest shit i mean arguably they're just creating a circus <laughs> tiktok is just going to revert to the 1920s is going to be we're just going to go full circle as a society we're going to loop right back to insensitive 1920 circuses you know uh, meet the bearded lady meet the incredible hulk meet the very stretchy man you know except it's just how many rubber bands can you get around a watermelon and hey watch me get my back blown out while i read a book this is audible if there's anything you can learn from this video it's don't fucking sign up for indeed literally delete your resume just go log into your computer and delete your resume and just figure out how to clap your thighs because that's all you have to do to make money you don't actually have to go in and interview and do any of that bullshit you just uh, get a phone apply for the creator fund and uh just get to it clap those thighs buy a watermelon put rubber bands around it i mean you name it it's not like TikTok's going to wake up tomorrow and suddenly have, you know, lines of morality that they want to draw. And, you know, even the whole concept of community guidelines and shit, that isn't even community guidelines. That's just them trying to avoid lawsuits, but they don't actually fucking care about the people who are on the platform, right? At least that's kind of how I see it. So, you know, I don't make this to say, like, TikTok needs to do better because we know that's not going to happen. But I am making all this, again, to say that what a weird fucking place TikTok live streams are. And it's kind of weird that this app motivates people to do all these things that they do. And I don't really know if we can say they're bad people because we kind of taught them to be that way. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you feel like I missed something, uh, leave a comment. I won't read it. <laughs> also, come see me at a show, noelmillerlive.com. They've been great. Uh, I got a bunch of cities lined up and I'm going to be adding more. So go buy a ticket if you haven't already. Um, show's been selling out. It's been great. Thank you so much. Everyone has uh, showed up to a show. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah.